workflow concepts here, and this is a demonstration of the workflow concepts callback server. As you can see here, we are on the workflow concepts callback administration page where we are going to enable our callback for the specific CSQ that we're working on. This one here is the demo CSQ. You can see that we have our callback enabled. We do have default settings that can be used. You can choose to select them enabled or disabled. Call a recording. This is where you can allow a person requesting a callback to leave a short recording of the nature of their call. Call a recording retention. We retain these recordings on the UCCX and you can select how long you would like to retain those recordings. We've also added email alerts, administrative email alerts, also caller ID verify, and we have a feature called abandoned callback that is in use. If someone hangs up, we program the system to capture that caller ID and then place an abandoned callback out to that customer and connect them with an agent. For this demonstration, we're going to use our accept callback period here right now, uh, 5 a.m. to 11 p.m. at night. We are going to accept callback. That means we are going to be offering our customers callback. And the callback processing period is the time that we are going to execute the actual callbacks. Uh, this is particularly important because nine times out of 10, if you have a busy call center, you don't get to all your callbacks in the day that you've received them. So this little trigger right here allows you to set um, a time to stop offering the callback to allow you enough time to process all of the callbacks and complete them before end of day. And at the end of the day, you can select to either purge those calls or not. So now that we've showed you how to administer a call, uh, callback queue, we're going to go and demonstrate that for you. So here I am as an agent. I'm going to place my phone call in to our test application. Thank you for calling the Workflow Concepts demo line. To reach an agent, press 0. Try out our Sirius XM bass music on hold now by pressing 1. To submit a request to be called back by an agent using our callback server, press 3. To be Selected my callback. Please enter the 10-digit number you would like to receive a callback on starting with the area code. When fit... You entered five zero. I'm going to hit one for correct. At the sound of the tone, you can record a message up to 45 seconds long. Press pound when finished. This is a quick message to go along with my callback request. Thank you. Your request has been processed. You will receive a callback shortly. Thank you for calling Workflow Concepts. Goodbye. As you can see, my agent is in a not ready. Uh, I wanted to call your attention over to our callback diagnostic screen. Here we can see all the callbacks that are in line to be queued uh, and also to be sent to our agents. As you can see here, we have a session ID, tracking the DNS, also the CSQ, as well as the prompt if the user left a message or not, and this one did. This is in the queued status, which means as soon as my agent over here goes into the ready state, that callback comes in. We answer it. Any key to accept this callback request. Press any. Press one. This is a quick message to go along with my callback request. Thank you. Press one to repeat. Press two to press. We're going to perform that callback. Call is going out. As you can hear, my cell phone is now ringing. Go ahead and answer the call. and the callback was completed. Now what we've done here is we've also added a uh, requeue gadget to Finesse here. If we had to do any type of requeuing of that call, if we missed that callback or not, um, as you can see, our status is no longer showing a, a record because the callback was completed. But if we needed to requeue that at all, uh, we've added a button here as well as a requeue gadget to our Finesse version 12 uh, so that we can easily requeue any callback that was missed. Thank you for watching our video.